Hi, this is Sarah from The Will to See, and I wanted to introduce you to a new online uh, diagramming tool that I have found and enjoy using called Creately. You can find it at creately.com and create your own login. The pricing is uh, very reasonable depending on how many diagrams you think you make and how often you use it and where you want to store it. Once you log in, um, click, click Open Application, and it will bring you to this page right here. And it has all of your different projects down the side. Um, if you categorize your documents by a project, and you can create another one by clicking on this link here, New Project. Or if you want to just create, keep creating documents within one project, you go over here and create new document. But when you open it up it will show you all of the documents within a particular project. You click new document and it asks you what kind you want to do. So you can do a sitemap and it will bring up examples of sitemaps with templates that you can use or you can do So here's some examples of sitemaps. I've used it to create a sitemap before. I've also used it to create um, mind maps, which I use for um, coming up with website content. Um, you can create almost any sort of diagram that you would like. Today we're going to do just a mind map just to um, get started. So then you name your your um, diagram, which we'll do mind map example. And if you want to describe it for the community, and you can either click share with community or not. Um, I'm just going to keep this one private. If you have a free account, I believe you have to share it with the community. <clears throat> then it will come up and create a, the new document template for you. And here you can see it's it's populated the template and I will zoom in a little bit or out a little bit so you can kind of get an idea but here here it is um, you can change the colors the line styles all sorts of things and in order to create it you just type in here and double click in the box and then type your idea so we'll do tech for today's example and then click out of your box and then this one is going to be applications and we'll do this one as a topic of create Lee and see if I added another topic over here of um, WordPress but I didn't need this this third one. You just hit delete on your keyboard and it'll take it away and the same thing with your arrow. You can move your um, you can move your objects around, move them closer, move them further away and once the arrows are connected they stay connected. You can also move around how these are connected by moving them to the different connection points on on your items within your page and you can change the color of them by going up here to the style and these are some of their um, their presets or you can go through and do your own by creating your own fill and outline and gradients and all of that so We'll change this to bright yellow and the line I want to do red. Um, and that's the way that you're able to do that. You're able to also cut and paste typically like you would anywhere in, in other programs. You can undo, you can put text at any point. So this is our mind map example. And if I want to make this text bigger, I highlight it and then go to this box and 
can change it to something different and make it bigger and bold and I can also expand it to make it in a different spot. Over here on your left hand side these are the objects um, specific to the mind map category but there's also all sorts of other objects. There's stars, there's block shapes, there's arrows, so and then also Creately allows you to go in and grab other um, shapes from other of their um, templates. So you can grab things from the iPhone or web widgets and just load those into whatever you whatever document you're working on and add those um, by just pulling them in over here. So we'll just add a phone as an example and it'll bring it in to your document. So as you can see the phone has now loaded in. It's a little bit bigger than I want so I'm going to shrink that phone down like this and this is the screen for it. So we'll go ahead and shrink that. Put it right here and there's my phone. On the right hand side there's a few tabs you'll notice over here and so the properties tab gives you the project name, what if you want to change your description, the type, what tags you'd like to put in there, links to be able to view it and edit your diagram within Creately, and then also your page size. So if you want to create a document um, specifically letter size, legal size, or something for the web um, and do it based on pixel size, there that's where that is. You can add notes within there comments if there's people that are work you're working together with and collaborating you can share so you can invite people to look at your documents and share the link and let them edit it and then you can also put it publish it either embedding it within a web page um, or sharing it on Facebook LinkedIn or Twitter and finally you can import it or export import documents that you've already created or export it from this top corner up here you always, when you're working on a document, you always want to make sure that you're saving. So we'll go ahead and save. And then we'll export it. So we'll export and you can export as an image, as a PDF, or send it in um, email or as a Creately file if you want to come take it away and then come bring it back to import it later on. So we're just going to export this as an image and it'll ask me if I want it to be a ping or a JPEG, transparent, and then take out the watermark. So I want it to be a JPEG which can't be transparent and take out the watermark and click export and there it goes. Now it's all ready for saving. So this is a quick overview on using getting started using Creately and you can use it to make all different kinds of diagrams for your documents and potentially infographs. So I hope you enjoyed it today and check back again soon for more um, cool tech tools.